Hello and welcome to the Amateur International Boxing Association's coverage from the 16th World Championships in Azerbaijan's capital, Baku. We have reached the quarter-final stage after a scintillating round of 16 across all 10 of the weight divisions. Yesterday, we are now getting into the closing stages and it really does promising to be a very exciting day indeed. Those competitors that won their bouts here 24 hours ago by virtue of qualifying to the quarter-finals of these World Championships have already earned themselves a spot at the 2012 London Olympic Games. Games, and that is an accolade for many here, including a lot of the British boxers, six of them in all, going through to these quarterfinals. Well, here on the A ring for this afternoon's session, we'll concentrate on the light fly, light welter, and light heavy categories. And there promises to be some spectacular bouts with the action starting Thailand up against China. Kiao Pyong Prayun up against Zhu Ximing of China and two boxers that have looked incredibly promising and incredibly strong in the preliminaries and round of 16. Well, these uh, bouts being broadcast to over 100 countries worldwide, proving the interest, success and overall interest in the world of boxing as the Olympic Games draws ever near. The World Championships, of course, held every two years from Milan in 2009, Chicago in 2007, to Azerbaijan and their capital city, Baku, hosting this 16th world. So there's the confirmation of the light fly, light welter, light heavyweight quarterfinals. A rest day at the World Championships here tomorrow with the semis on Friday and the finals on Saturday. Of course, the city of Baku and Azerbaijan candidates for the 2020 Olympic Games. And I have to say, the reception here for all of the athletes, media, journalists, and officials really has been more than welcoming. This has been a fantastically successful World Championships to date. But boxing is the name of the game here, and to kickstart the action in these quarterfinals, we take a look at an Olympic and a double world champion. From China, now at 30 years of age, this is Zhu Ximing. What a boxer this man is, and you can go as far back as the 2005 World Championships when this 30-year-old fighter took his first World Championship gold in Yang, Yan Yang of China and he's going to take some stopping today. Well, if anybody can, this young man is certainly feeling confident enough to do so. It is Keao Pong Prayun, 21-year-old Thai boxer, national champion and three times the Thai national champion. But the big story against the Thai boxer who will be coming out of the red corner here on the A-ring today is that he knocked out the number one seed, the number one ranked boxer, Alzada of Azerbaijan in front of a big crowd yesterday and he knocked him out in style 23 to 8. Well understandably so the blue corner and the Chinese boxer the favorite for this first of the quarterfinals but who knows this youngster from Thailand after his sensational performance 24 hours ago to knock out the number one ranked boxer and number one seed at this championship can he do it again? Good afternoon, Azerbaijan. Channel number one, Uzbekistan. Channel number two, Turkey. Channel number three, There it is. Channel number four, Zhu Ximing. Well, England. not a lot of detail. Ripley, France. But of course, the blue corner, Beijing Olympic champion, two times world champion. Now, our referee, who will be looking after the boxers in the ring here, that's really what it's all about for these referees for safety and to secure that the rules and regulations are adhered to. We've seen some excellent work from all of the referees in these championships to date. Kusinov from Azerbaijan. Local referee, which is good to see. 
three three-minute rounds for a spot in the quarterfinals at the World Amateur Boxing Championships. Thailand in the red, China in the blue. Seconds out, here we go. Ximing, Zhu Ximing looked so confident in his early rounds. 12-5. Very, very straightforward victories. And as we said at the beginning of this bout, just before the boxers entered the ring, the Thai boxer knocking out the local hero from Baku here in Azerbaijan. Not knocking him out, beating him on points, taking him out of the competition. But here we see Su Ximing already starting to show his speed, his skill and experience. Definitely the name of the game for the Chinese boxer from the blue corner. Nine years the senior. Oh, but there's those big punches. A good combination from the Thai boxer. He's just like yesterday in his round of 16 bout against the number one seed. No signs of nerves. He's got a big punch. Works the jab well. But a very dangerous left hook. And again, showing no fear. No time for respect. There's only three three minute rounds. And no time for posturing when you get to the quarterfinals of a world championship. Pong Prayun. Just. Zushi Ming just getting a warning for using the inside of the glove there from the referee. Both boxers have put points on the board here. And again. Those are scoring points from this 21 year old Thai boxer. Three times the national champion, but just a competitor in the last world, Worlds of 2009. Got knocked out in the preliminaries. But he's come of age in the 2011 Worlds, there's no question there. Zhu Ximing starting to use skills, looking for a way through. The guard. Well, it's a good opener for both boxers. Zhu Ximing looking a little frustrated by the Thai boxer whose guard is stopping the Chinese or the boxer in blue from scoring and the counter attack from the Thai boxer has been effective last few seconds of the opening round well, a good start, but it's the Chinese boxer in the blue corner, as predicted before the start of this bout, that takes the early lead. Four to one for Zhu Ximing. But I think a little surprised by some of the combinations trying to put together by the... trying to put those combinations together by the Thai boxer. But um, again, not only one of the most experienced, but the oldest competitor in the competition. There's a confirmation of the judging scores. Each and every one of the five judges has uh, Zhu Ximing ahead. Some a little more than others. But remember, the highest and the lowest are taken away. And the mean average of the three remaining scores is how we determine the score. Four to one. Three ahead. Now, this is where... Zhu Ximing in his previous bouts has just changed it up a gear and he will look to draw further clear and then coast a third I'm sure
little bit of pressure now on Pong Freyun. Tie in the red, that's a nice uppercut there from Zhu Ximing. of this bat this is a massive PB for the Thai boxer in red knocked out in the preliminary rounds of the 2009 Worlds it's, uh, again confidence brimming with confidence Xi Jinping of China looking for a way into that through that guard Of course, the goal for Zhu Ximing of China here is to take his third World Championship gold and put his name along some of the greats of the sport. The Cubans, Stevenson, Herrera. And of course, there's only one man that's got a few more titles than that, and that's the great Felix Savant. Six World Championship golds along with three Olympic golds. But the good news is, is that uh, Zhu Ximing has already qualified now for the London Olympics where he'll be looking to defend his Olympic title absolutely delighting the crowds in Beijing when he took that gold and he's preparing to defend that title with style here good work again methodical scoring Wearing down his opponent, not just physically but mentally as well. And you can see Fong Prayun getting a little frustrated, finding it difficult to land the blows to score the points. Inside of the glove, another warning there for Zhu Ximing. There's the bell for the end of the second round. And another comfortable performance. 6 3, I see on the computer screen just next to the A-ring where the light fly action is coming from and that takes Zhu Ximing in the blue six points clear, ten to four let's take a look at some of the slow motion, there was the use of the inside of the glove which uh, Zhu Ximing took a warning for but again good one two there to take the second comfortably, it looks very relaxed, doesn't he? One has to say. He wants to get overconfident in this situation, but Hong Prey Yoon had his moment yesterday in the opening round of 16, taking out top seeded light flyweight boxer, and now surely for Zhu Ximing. Just needs to keep on delivering what he has done. You can see Pong Prayun trying his best to try and salvage this now. And he's going to take a few more risks to try and score those extra points. And will leave himself susceptible to the counter the counter attack from Zhu Ximing. Leave himself susceptible oh. to the Chinese Box. boxers. Hook and uppercut. Now watch this carefully. a warning for an infringement for the use of the head and you see the referee pointing to each of the judges that's an official warning that will give two points to the opponent of the boxer that has been given the warning and the warning given to the judges as well so Pong Prayun now 
given a little bit of a helping hand here with two extra points in this third and final round and can he use that to his advantage he's got to make up six it's a massive task And you can see Zhu Ziming now knows that he's given away a couple of points to the Thai boxer. He too now is starting to load up the big guns. to the ground there. Just over a minute to go in this third and final round. Kayo Bong Prayun of Thailand has been given two extra points for the warnings on Zhu Ming, but I still fear that's not enough. And the giant killer of this tournament. He's been knocking out seeding, seeded boxers all the way through his tournament so far. That giant killing run is coming to an end. Just 30 seconds to go now on the clock. And a good tactical three rounds, I'd say, from Zhu Ximing. And he's come to this quarter-final bout knowing that this young lad has put some of the bigger names out of the tournament and therefore has boxed strategically has boxed skillfully and has just done enough to keep the young Thai boxer who's got everything to go for nothing to lose here really and just worked well to keep him at bay and the young lad knows that he hasn't done enough and uh, China, one of the oldest men in the tournament. But you wouldn't have thought so the way he boxed that because that age has also given the Chinese boxer a wise tactical play. That's the way to do it. Maximum of skill with a minimum of effort. Doesn't look to have even broken a sweat, does he? So sure it'll be as easy as that when he gets to the semi-finals where he'll meet either one of the Spanish or Russian but there the confirmation 14 to 8 for Zoshi Ming progressing through to Friday's semi-final Olympic champion in great style great form here and both boxers Really enjoying their work out there today. There's the confirmation for one, six, three, and four, four. Zhu Ximing of China is the first winner of our quarterfinals here in Baku, Azerbaijan, here today, and comfortably moves forward to the semi finals. <laughs>